And we're back, minding your business, Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. And my name is, oh, Chris Spiker, Antelope Valley Florist. Aaron Goldstein, co-host. Who's our next guest? Our next guest is Ashley Cortez from the AV Mall. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Hey, from the AV Mall. Yep, the one and only. The one and only <laughs> Antelope Valley, right in the very center of the Antelope Valley. Yes, and you know what's crazy is I was born and raised here, so I've kind of seen it go from... You know, the pre, like before all the stuff came about, because it's actually, we celebrated our 25th anniversary last year. So we celebrated the 26th, the end of September. So I'm 29. So I got to see it kind of grow to what it is today. And it, it's really cool that I get to actually work where I grew up, you know, visiting all my childhood. So. Yeah, and, and you're still writing your book. I don't <laughs> Yeah, I know, huh? The mall's been here 25 years, and it's just as current and important as the day it was born. Yes. We are always trying to freshen it up, bring new things. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen the expansion, um, the redevelopment out in the entertainment plaza where, like, Subway got moved. We have Dick Sporting Goods, Blaze Pizza, which if you haven't checked it out, you should check it I can't keep up out. with it. I know. You know, and I sent my mom over there. She's one of the mall walkers in the morning. Oh, perfect. She's 90 years old, and she's over there. I'm sure I see her every morning. All the time. Well, start <laughs> asking. I will. Somebody's walking real fast. That would be my mom. Oh, okay. And she's she, a speed walker. She's a speed walker, and, <laughs> and usually walks the opposite direction of everybody else. Okay, so I should be able to spot her then. So people are can go into the mall before it's even open. Yeah, the mall doors open at 6 a.m. So especially now that we're heading into the winter time when it's a little more chillier, you can come in and the whole perimeter of the interior of the mall is um, about a mile. So if you do that multiple times, you're hitting you know a few miles there. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a question you don't know about the mall. How many parking spaces? You would <laughs> ask me, okay. I know. Think about it. You can, uh, you can. Do you know? You can text somebody. Well, I know. I should, and I don't have my phone with me. I would get it right on the phone with my operations guy because they just restrict like half of it. So. I think it would be fair to estimate over a thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. I I went uh, to meet some old friends at uh, Red Robin. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, there's a lot of cars in this parking lot. Yeah, it definitely holds a lot. And it's not a lot park of, and ride, right? People can't park in there. And you know what? There is a little area that I that there is about by J.C. Penney in that area. Yeah, they thought, do have some there. I don't get out much, and I <laughs> that's a lot of cars. That's a lot of people in there. Yes, it is. And, and you know, I have to remind myself, it's not the Palmdale Mall; it's the AV Mall. Right, we're the Antelope Valley yeah. Mall. We represent the whole Antelope Valley. It's the place to go shopping. It's a place to have dinner. You even got a movie theater there. Yeah, and you know, if you buy a, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but if you get an AV Mall gift card, you can use that gift card at the movie theater. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. So you're not just getting it for shopping and, you know, the restaurants, of course, all the ones that are inside the mall, um, not a, along the exterior ring road, but the movie theater does count, and they do use our AV Mall gift card. Of course. So little what a great gift. Yeah, it's a great gift. You don't know what to buy. Yep, you can use it at Yard House, Claim Jumper, anywhere. Claim Jumper's great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They are. It's an amazing organization. Mm -hmm. And the TV, you know, you can sit at the bar. You don't need to wait for a table. I mean, I love it. And love the it. happy hour is great. Happy hour. They have their own <laughs> menu. So I'm supposed to ask you, what's new at the mall? You know what? A lot of cool things are coming. We're really excited about Rock and Jump. It's going to be an 18,000 square foot building of trampolines. They'll have a basketball area where you can bounce and dunk, and they'll have a ball pit. So it'll be a great um, family. It'll be a great place to bring the family, you know, because I'm excited, and I'm an adult, and I can't wait for it. So um, it'll be a good addition. And then we're also bringing in Doghouse, which is, gourmet hot dogs. They have sliders with those Hawaiian buns and they'll have really cool um, concoctions of different hot dogs. So we're really excited about that one. The mall does have some pretty amazing places. Uh, there's, there's been so many expansions since I was a kid and I've, mm -hmm. I've been here since, all, I, I'm sure the mall was there before me, but uh, I remember seeing that uh, 
there's no, they did the expansions on the back, expansions on the front. There's now a whole bunch of amazing places in there. I'm there usually once a week walking the place myself. Do you it's remember great. when there was those fountains inside the mall? I do. Isn't that crazy? I still go back I and look at it. there's actually like, a new fountain outside, isn't there? Yeah, so they redid that one. It, there's always been one out there, but they made, they revamped it a little bit out there. They've been making changes all the time. and It's, it's like every single time I walk through there, there's always a new store or something has changed. And so it's always a great experience to be walking around. And uh, People still don't even believe we have a Macy's. They're, they're like, oh, there's a Macy's at the Antelope Valley Mall. I'm like, yes, it's been here <laughs> for years now. So, you know, we kind of got to remind people of what we have. There's actually a lot of cool um, stores in there. So... I can't remember the store name, but there used to be this really great uh, manga shop in there, manga and card shop. It was great, right by Sears. But uh, are, are there um, any cool shops that are getting ready to open in the mall? You know, the only ones that are under construction right now, like I said, are the Rock and Jump, which is going to be a cool addition because, you know, a lot of people go over the hill to Valencia to go to their trampoline parks, but we'll have one here in our own Antelope Valley. So. Um, those those two are the only ones right now under construction um, but you know we are gearing up for some great holiday seasons you know we're oh getting Santa into, Claus yes oh good Whew. Santa will be here on Saturday November 19th so that's when the holiday season kicks off at the Antelope Valley Mall and we're doing a hero holiday so you'll might get to see some of your favorite superheroes there Ooh. Can people sign up to be heroes at the mall Ooh. Just show up and I have a suit. Yeah, show up. <laughs> Aaron, I just got to tell you, no creepy clowns, okay? Yeah, oh, no yes, creepy please. clowns. That, you won't get I'll, I'll probably get premises. myself arrested. <laughs> <laughs> probably. What is the rule on costumes at the mall? So, we do have mall white trick-or-treating coming up on Halloween. It's on a Monday this year. 5 to 7 p.m., bring the kids out. The we, As a reminder, we like to remind people, you know, for safety purposes, anyone... Um, over 12 years old cannot have full face makeup or a mask on. The little ones, they're okay. Under 12, they can still do their little full face, but over 12, we recommend um, you don't or else they're going to escort you off the premises. But, you know, that's a nice courtyard there outside of the, the entry. It's a nice place to yeah, sit and please. look in the windows at everybody having fun. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, um, during the holidays, we like to book some holiday entertainment out there. So, I mean, over here can get a little cool, but we've had some days that are really nice in December and November, so you can enjoy some music. So look out always on our website at www.av-mall.com or our Facebook page for all the latest details on that. If somebody was local talent, how would they... How would they get on your radar? How would they get on your list of possibilities? So um, we would just recommend you contact the Antelope Valley Mall. Um, you can find our number on the website. Um, or if you're listening and you are a musician, um, you can call 266-9422. And they'll direct you in the right direction to get in touch with um, me. And I can work on you know, working with them to see what we can do to get them at the entertainment plaza. You know, I had to step out, being the producer of the show. I know. Yeah. Uh, did we talk about the monthly kids club? No, we did it, and it's free, and it's a great event. It's geared for kids ages 3 to 11. So what they do is the second Wednesday of every month, you can bring the kiddos, and they decorate a different craft every month. So for October, we're doing Halloween um, little wooden masks, like masquerade masks, but they're a witch, a ghost, a pumpkin, they're super cute. They can paint them. And a really cool thing we have is, you know, the circus is coming to the mall. That's right. So if you want to get a sneak peek of what the circus has to offer, we're gonna they're going to do little sneak peek performances at the Kids Club. It's really? It's October 12th. It's a Wednesday, and um, they'll do a little show at 4.30 and 5.30. So it'd be a great opportunity to come see what they're all about. And then the opening day is, of course, the 13th. Kids of all ages. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> welcome. He won't be able to do the mass, the craft, but he can come participate in the, in the circus. Born <laughs> too soon, I guess. So yeah, the kids club is great, and you know, in December we'll have every month they collect little adventure bucks. 
So the more you come, the more you accumulate, and they have little wallets they can put them in. And then every um, quarter, we have a little shop where they can use their bucks to buy little crafts and goodies. So the next one will be in December. We have just two minutes left. Um, That's it? Let's emphasize, or we're going to ask you back. <laughs> we're going to ask you yeah. back. We're going to talk a little bit more about the AV and you know what's going on here. Uh, but trick-or-treating, you've been doing it a long time at the Animal yes. Valley Mall. Very safe. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's we get, uh, we say like 3,000, 4,000 people at that event. I mean, they're like little ants along the whole perimeter of the mall, and it's because they do feel safe. You know, we have great security at our shopping center, both mobily exterior, in the exterior and also inside, always looking out for anything. And it's just a really safe environment and a climate-controlled environment, so you don't have to worry about the elements or anything. And it's, a, it's like a tradition, I feel like, out here. I mean, I have friends that now take their kids when they grew up doing it themselves. So we enjoy it because, it, like I said, it's, it's a tradition and we want to keep it going for the How community. How does a business get that sort of loyalty? That's I know. amazing. That's it wonderful. Is. And the poor stores can't even keep up with the demand sometimes because, I mean, if you figure 4,000 you know, people and kids, I mean, it's a lot. And they still come every year. I mean, sometimes there's not, it depends on how many stores we get, but they're always there. The crowd's always there. It's a wonderful tradition. Yes. And very important neighbor. And, you know, thank you for being a part of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Thanks for coming on the show. So this is Ashley Cortez from the Antelope Valley Mall. <gasps> and stick around. We're going to talk a little bit more. Okay. Thank you.